Well, good Monday morning. You know, I never really know for sure if I'm going to fully complete a no shave November, but I've started it, uh, I think just yesterday and we'll see how it goes. I never really like the way it turns out. I'm always a little thin here on the cheeks, but we're going to give it a shot. So forgive the scruffiness. We'll see if it turns into anything remotely acceptable. Uh, if not, it'll be gone probably by the next time we do one of these videos. I just wanted to share another little anecdote from my Camino experience. I, I think, uh, the life lessons continue to keep flowing. The connections that I made on that Camino continue to, to continue to flourish and to be meaningful. The most important life lesson, the most consistent thing that comes back to me is the things you want to accomplish in life or achieve through execution on a daily basis of a, of a chunk of those overall goals, those, those ideal goals, those destinations uh, that you want to arrive at, whether they're professional, personal, financial, vocational, vi vacational, if it's, a, if it's a destination you're longing to go to, uh, if it's health, fitness, a weight uh, reduction or an increase in, you know, healthy body mass, uh, whatever it is, we in the Western society and in particular in the United States, we have bought into the pop a pill mentality to get our results and it is just not real. I never would have imagined I would have. I think I imagined I could have, but I never would have imagined I would have walked 500 miles with a pack on my back. I never would have imagined that. People who see me today, the most common question is why? And I think in order to understand the why, it requires a bit more of a lengthy conversation. And I'm not going to go into that right now. We've talked a little bit about the why. Connection with self is probably the most significant why and then the opportunity to connect with others from all over the world, different cultures, backgrounds. Those are the big whys. But the reality is I did it. But I didn't walk 500 miles. When I got to Santiago and I looked at the, you know, you got these markers all along the way of how many kilometers you have left. And you start off at 790 from St. Jean, Peter Port, and you end up at 0.0, .0 when you walk into the plaza at Santiago. And it's incredible to stare down at that 00, zero having watched the 790 click down the entire walk and knowing that I took every step and I did so with a pack on my back and I did so sleeping in albergues or hostels every night. And the way you get to 500 miles on a walk is you do 20 miles a day or 15 miles a day or 25 miles a day. Whatever you have to do, you break that down into manageable chunks and you execute daily on the disciplines required to get there. You got to eat, but you can't eat crap. You, you can drink a little, but you can't drink too much. You have to follow a plan. And pretty soon, 34 days later, you're standing in the plaza in Santiago realizing you just did something you never imagined you would do. And that's applicable to almost every endeavor. I can share with you right now, sitting over here in the corner, sort of the corner, is that beautiful guitar. I've owned it for a few years. I've owned a guitar for many years. I rarely pick it up and play it. And I'm not very good at guitar. And I was talking with a friend on the Camino and I said something about I've got, I took guitar lessons and I'm signed up for a few more. And her comment was, why do you need lessons? Why don't you just play? And the point wasn't that we don't need instruction or that we don't need help to get to our achieved goals. The point was, if you really love guitar, and if you really want to play guitar, play guitar. And then when you get to a point where you need additional help or instruction, then ask for help. Well, that's something I need to do. And if I want to get good at guitar, it's just like the Camino. It's a prescribed path over multiple days or weeks or months or years that leads to an incredible destination. And if I want to bang out some really cool licks on a guitar, I can if I follow that prescribed path. And whatever it is you want to do, whatever you endeavor to do, whatever you set your heart and mind to do, you can do. But you're not going to go from where you are today to where you want to be by tomorrow. You're going to get there by walking 20 miles a day or the relevant equivalent to whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. To your success as you define it, go walk 15 or 20 today, metaphorically speaking, or literally, it's kind of a cool thing to do. To your success, have a great day.